So uh, I tried to <laughs> give a small overview about the main points of my, uh, of my research or paper. So uh, I started with the um, meaning of the um, loudly singing revolution in the 80s uh, during the liberation of Baltic states from, from Soviet Union. It's, it's involved a series of social political events and including the spontaneous uh, singing together. So uh, question about climate, then the nights in 1988 was very, <laughs> very warm in June. So, and this uh, warm nights brought, uh, brought together unexpected uh, crowds and the singing uh, song festival um, was, was very popular and one of the characteristics uh, of, of Estonians. But um, uh, the fact that um, in July 1960, a little singing revolution took place. Uh, it's, it's not generally known. Uh, there were 30,000 people who participated in the song festival and the name Little Singing Revolution marks the changes, but to my mind, more the hoops uh, of those times. So th this um, festival was um, scheduled for three days, but uh, the weather conditions were extremely bad. Uh, and the first concert were cancelled, yet the choirs um, were already on the stage. Uh, it was a um, new built song festival grounds and it's still used uh, today. Uh, but the choirs decided not to go off and started to sing on their own initi initiative. And of course, this caused great confusion among the organizers and to solve the situation, the chief conductor, Gustav Ernazak, rose to the um, conductor stand and conducted some songs, and after that, the singer started to leave. But uh, the, the spontaneity of singers uh, was also manifested uh, the next day, and also the concert was lasted eight hours, the participant started to demand the singing of one special song um, for them, My Fatherland is My Love. Such kind of um, spontaneity of masses was very, very striking and frightening to the organizers and especially for authorities. Uh, but at the same time, there is another aspect uh, also related with the song festival um, as it was planned a uh, huge propagandistic mass event with controlled content and ideological uh, elements uh, but it was um, also um, like a decoy or, or, or a feed for attracting to exile Estonians to visit homeland um, whereas until the mid uh, 1950s, the KGB had mainly focus on attracting um, immigrants to return home. But uh, it later became clear that uh, there won't be any major wave of repatriation and more efforts should be made to contribute to the development of cultural uh, relations. And thus they hoped that the uh, 1960 song festival could be attractive for exile ex Estonian community, yet this trick failed as no exile Estonian choir participants in this festival. And on the basis of, of these events, I would uh, like to ask how controlled was Estonian society at the moment? Because from the mid 1950s, uh, KGB focused mainly on the uh, four groups. It was school pupils, young, nationally minded uh, intellectuals, people liberated from camps and forced settlements, and exile uh, circles on the West. And at the, at the same time, all these groups tried to, to find the opportunities to restoring the world destroyed by Stalinism and the society was suffering from crisis of distrust. 
and the, the ties between the families, circle of friends, colleagues were, were, were broken during the war and post four years. And the people started uh, from, they were scattered into several directions in, in, in exile, in native land, in, in deported and repressed Estonia. So, and, and now the KGB plan to use the people's very human longing for, for their families and, and native land in their own interests. And all this came and um, put people into very difficult positions as it was impossible to know whom, um, whom to meet or not to meet or trust or not. And, and many, many people were unaware uh, on the level and details um, of these intrigues around KGB tourism until 1990. So, and, and this is a question, it's how the human, human relations resist to the pressure of this uh, political violence uh, from the perspective of authorities, people who released from from prisons and forced settlements fueled um, with distrust and they could anti-Soviet influence to others, especially on the young who, who protested against the general adaption to the system. So at the same time, the ex exile Estonians trusted them more and, and sought contacts uh, with them actively. Many, many of their family members live in exile. So KGB bland uh, to use them and especially the more prominent uh, persons who had many friends and acquaintances abroad. And according to the new strategy, the development of cult cultural ties with emigres, um, the KGB started to create friendly relationships with them. So in this context, also the relations with the national minded intellectuals were targeted and you know, anyway, people began to revive a former um, contacts via tourism and correspondence. The, the prevailing mood in Estonia USSR in um, 1960 seems to have been quite calm, except young people um, who might have unexpectedly surprised the authorities with particular actions but the behavior of Estonian people during the song festival turned out to be surprising. According to all indicators, the musical life seemed to be under control. Mm, the cleansing of musicians that was carried in 1948-52 was extensive. The repertoire of choirs was ideologically correct and checked several, several times by censors. At the same time, there was uh, big differences between song that was sung in, at home and the circle of friends. And um, during the night song festival in 1988, people didn't have to learn melodies or, or lyrics of forbidden songs because everybody knows them by heart. Anyway, the spontaneity of um, Masses was unpleasant surprise to authorities, uh, but uh, particular visible sanctions um, not followed. And here, um, my I ordered about more than twenty files in in archive about the cor correspondence reports, work with masses, um, and so on, that I hope that maybe this kind of material uh, might shed light more uh, on the reactions to the authorities, to the festival, and the behavior of people. But, but where is the main problem? Main problem is that um, after the year 1960, there is, uh, in Estonian Nokal is not direct materials uh, about KGB activities, so uh, we can, had to use uh, the secondary secondary sources, so so I, I had to continue this this work with this this material. Um, but the song festival is um, is uh, was a multi layered uh, phenomenon. On the one side, it was used as um, 
propagandistic tool that to reach masses and play the important role in, in Soviet ideology. At the same time, the Song, song Festival was a communal um, gathering and it uh, functioned as a network of thousands of singers, conductors, composers, poets, their families, relatives, friends united to by share the values, experiences, memories. So uh, choir singing um, provided opportunity to load oneself emotionally. And not only the singer, the attending on song festival uh, raised a sense of, of, of community. But as a regards um, influencing the exile communities using music, the KGB for the KGB uh, achieved the break a roof a year later in 1961 when the most famous Estonian composer in exile Edward Tubin visited Estonia and this uh, Tubin's visit clearly split the exile community into two parts those who favored contacts with homeland and others who oppose the idea and the discussion for and, and against the visit to Gastonia continued until the 1990s. Um, after the return uh, to Sweden, Tupin was um, accused of collaboration with occupational authorities, several offensive articles were published, uh, he was excluded from student cooperation, so all this had a depressing impact on, on him and he suffered from, from isolation. Uh, for conclusion, um, in early 1960s there was a controversial situation prevailing in Estonia. As for authorities, they were afraid of personal contacts of people, but at the same time, they needed friendly relationships to make control more offensive. As for individuals, uh, they were looking for contacts with each other, both in Estonia and abroad, but they had to be very careful, especially in relations with exile Estonians. And KGB tactics and, and manipulations were able to break many, many relationships and there were a lot of tensions that can be felt even nowadays. All in all, I would like to ask um, how free was the society in the era of Tor? Which was the possibilities for, for restoring trust in, in society? Which different practices were used, how to analyze the development of uh, relationships between the freedoms perceived by people and the control measured implemented by the authorities. The emotions that accompanied the Song Festival in 1960 feed the hopes that the situation might improve and such emotional moments created sense of um, togetherness, inspired courage. Uh, and on the basis of this kind of emotional moments, uh, new inner resources were created in the society closed in silence. Over the years, I think that that kind of feeling, especially hidden in the um, cultural spaces, were accumulated and, and give rise to the movement of re-establishing independence. And authorities were not able to control such emotion, emotions successfully. Uh, but um, in order to understand these different processes, um, it's important to notice uncontrollable and, and especially the hidden tendencies and map diverse spontaneous episodes that might have surprised the actors themselves, not speaking about the cause of regime. But on behalf of historian, I, I would like to add that existing sources enable us to study the loss of interpersonal trust more easily than the phenomenon in, in contribute the growth of trust in society.
So maybe it's it's uh, the main point that I would like to say with this with this article. But of course, my work is still in 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 progress, and I have to look for through them files especially uh, concerning the reactions of um, to, the, to the people's spontaneous behavior and after that uh, i try to rewrite uh, this this text so it's it's <laughs> in, enough at the moment for yeah. my side thank you thank you, thank you. Uh, i think it was very much worth presenting Yes, definitely. But I think you were thinking of not presenting. What a pity that would have been. Exactly, but <laughs> yesterday I was about a half your day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You. But no, I, I mean, there's, there's, there's so much in there, even presented like that. It's, um, yeah. Uh, so can we take, take questions for Aigi? Questions and observations? Yeah, maybe. I, I Jose, yeah. I have not on, not a question because I think uh, it's uh, the, the the part of the of the of your paper that you presented is incredible. It's very very interesting, but uh, maybe uh, because you were speaking about emotions all the time, and I think this is this you put yourself in this trend of the new history of emotions and so on. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's my my question or my reflection. Uh, how do you do you think? Uh, what do you think about this kind of trend? And what is your theoretical, you, I, can, I can say, um, separate structure of this this mm -hmm. investigation? It's, yeah. it's 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 very good question because yes, as a first uh, maybe the first uh, article that uh, that I used for for geographical frame it's Yoram Karolinsky structured mm -hmm. after Stalin and at the same time I uh, I would like to um, use that kind of um, frame of maybe uh, social cap uh, social capital and and different um, table about the different sanctions that were used and all the formal and informal uh, sanctions and and the, the using of authority and and so on. So I, I try to um, try to put together. Um, yeah, firstly. Um, maybe some more important lines how, how uh, which which was a um, mechanism to to create trust in in in, in yeah. society and 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 from perspective of both sides of course for authorities but it's it's failed <laughs> although uh, but and and also uh, the, there had to be frames by perspective of people. So so it's it's not easy to solve this problem. But uh, I so first first of all I use uh, uh, Gorlitsky and Geoffrey Hosking uh, works. In mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe because I, I I was involved in a project about nationalism and emotions, and there is a book that uh, I think it, it fits very good with this this that you just said. Maybe I would I would put the, in the chat now the the quote. Maybe if if is is useful for you because really I think it, it, your 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 perspective is is really really interesting and there is a lot of things that you can say about this this uh, yeah this connection between nationalism emotions and yeah so thank you thank you okay do we have any more questions or comments for Aiki? muriel <laughs> No, no. Apart from yeah, I'm so happy she presented. It yeah. was interesting. So yeah. Okay. Um, so thank you very much, Aggie. We we don't have any more um, at the moment. Um,
so we have one more um, paper to come from from um, uh, Costas. Um, but I was going to suggest uh, like a two or three minute comfort break if anybody needs to take a break just to comfort break. That's a new one. I like comfort it. break. I will take a comfort break for just should we say uh, five minutes? So yeah. it's two minutes past now. So if everyone's back about seven or eight minutes past, we can start again. Um, and uh, then we will have Constantinos if you're ready in, in about seven or eight minutes. Okay, so at ten past four, correct? Ten past, yeah, ten past. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Are you here? May I ask you? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. <laughs> Switch on microphone because I couldn't hear you. <laughs> I don't know. You're just okay, but it's strange because I can. I, I can hear. I would like to ask you for your help with the. Okay, yes. <laughs> yes. No? Yes, now I can hear you. No. <laughs> Okay, then maybe I will I, I will explain you. Uh, I would like to ask you if you could help me with the file from archive. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I because yes, now I hear you. I know uh, I can if I mean if you are planning to visit it because I know the name of the director, so I could send you the name of the director. No, 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 no. yeah, no, it's not uh, absolutely. You you sent them um, email to the archive. Uh -huh. is in the um, on the homepage, there is um, to my mind there had to be the email sent okay. there to, to them and and ask about which which kind of material to use to, to want to use and um, mm, no it's it's not um, not code to, to the director it's too <laughs> too a high level they uh, they decided on the well, um, no. No, I need information about museum director in archive. So I'm not going to contact the director. So I need the information about the person, but I don't know uh, where it could be found. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I mean, I could also send them an email ask, asking about the specific, if I don't know, like in general, if it's okay to send an email and they will send me the material or do I need to be there with certain kind of, letters from university or which hmm? name uh, the name of the the person is freddy i will just double check it I'll tell you. so his name is freddy thomas uh-huh I... freddy, freddy, freddy freddy thomas thomas, thomas yes yeah yes I yeah checked. I checked, <laughs> I, I noticed the name and I checked the material. There is, um, maybe it's, it's interesting to, for you, it's, uh, there is a report about trips to Bulgaria, Hungary and Poland. Maybe this, uh, this material is useful because um, the, uh, I understand the, um, he claims that it was, he was questioned by KGB but these files um i'm not sure that these files is open. in our not not in open but it's it's in our estonian archives so i'm not sure mm -hmm. because in the first list it was um, i didn't check this kind of material there mm -hmm. but 
but maybe it's um, mm, but 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 there is some possible to use this kind of material. Of course, you had to think to some kind of paper that you use only for research aims this material. So I, I think it's it's possible to use this kind of material. But, but do they firstly? I, 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 I had to check there is file or not. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. That because, was really helpful for me. Yeah, to be because uh, not all the lists um, now is open in, in homepage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After some I, I will send you then an email, okay? Yeah. And it would be really helpful for me because then, you know, like I could contact them or I could, you know, just, mm -hmm. yeah. And I think, like, <laughs> you have more <laughs> expertise and <laughs> power to <laughs> address this question. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That would be really helpful.